If you put an acorn in water, does it float or does it sink? Well, the answer might surprise you. Let's talk about it. This is actually a fun science experiment for both kids and adults alike. So the first thing you gotta do is go outside and gather up some acorns. If you don't have them in your yard, I'm sure there is a public park somewhere near you where you could get a bunch of acorns. So this actually goes back to a school of thought where people would think that if an acorn sank in the water, it was a viable seed. And if it floated, that means it was no good and wouldn't be able to grow a tree. Now for this experiment, we're gonna be taking the caps off of the acorns. So that's what I'm doing now as we talk. And the thought was that, you know, if weevils or some type of animal actually got into here and drilled into it and ate the good stuff out of it, then it would be hollow on the inside and would float in water. Or maybe if this was an acorn from the previous year, it had already dried out and was no good. So people that grow trees for a living used to get a bunch of acorns and then they would do the float test and all of the ones that were floating on top of the water, they would end up discarding and they would only plant the ones that sank. Here's the last one. So let's go ahead and get on with this experiment. We're gonna take all these acorns and get them in water. All right, let's take a look. And if you can see that, we've got quite a lot of acorns that have sunk to the bottom and we still have, I don't know, probably less than half of them that are floating up top. So research has shown that most of these that have sunk down here to the bottom are actually good seeds, but what about these ones that were floating on top? It used to be that these would all be just taken and discarded, but some researchers got to looking and thought, you know, a lot of these look like they would still be good acorns. And so they did an experiment. And what they found is, yes, indeed, a lot of these that are floating still will grow trees. And so a lot of these places had been wasting quite a lot of acorns because the float test is not something that is 100% correct all the time. And another thing they found is that a visual inspection is something that can be very helpful in knowing whether or not a seed is going to be viable. So let's look at these nuts. So these here have cracks or splits, and this one looks like it probably was never fully developed. These ones are most likely not going to germinate, so therefore you shouldn't waste any soil space or time planting these. Whereas this one, which was also floating, looks to be a really nice solid nut. So what can we do with this newfound information that we have from floating acorns? Well, one thing for sure is it's a fun thing to do with kids because you'll certainly get a mixture of answers when it comes to a group of children as to whether or not they'll float or sink. And they're all gonna technically be correct. And I will add, if you do want to grow your own oak trees from acorns, it's really quite simple. Just take these acorns and plant them in soil. They're not picky about what type of soil you use. It could be potting soil or just some different type of soil that you dig out of your own yard. Plant them an inch or two under the soil and water them occasionally throughout the winter. And by spring, you should have at least some germinating and becoming new little oak tree saplings. So have fun. Go nuts with it.